everybody welcome back to another vlog i just did my skincare routine my face is looking a little bit i don't know it was looking a little bit weird for a sec but i'm gonna sit down right here because i need to put on some laneige lip mask i am so out of it you guys it is like what time do you think it is right now i'm at like nine o'clock what time is it oh so plain it's like nine o'clock right now and i've been in california on west coast time for the past week and I'm I can't function it is crazy so I got up at 7 this morning so really it was 6 5 4 4 a.m. but I'm gonna like force myself to like get up at the normal time that I would and not like sleep in just because I want to get back used to East Coast time but let me tell you it was a really really rough morning I like you know that feeling that you get like when you I don't know I always feel like this when I get up for an early flight and like you just didn't sleep enough and like your head hurts and all of that you just feel like foggy that is me this morning but it's okay um we're gonna just get back into this east coast routine and everything will be fine so yeah that is what we're doing today Emma and I just picked up all of our packages since we were away in California and Emma got this huge box of gum from extra to give the new gum which is this one right here and it is the refreshers so I took two packs just because I don't need a lot of it I don't really chew gum that often um, but I just took two this one's my favorite though like winter polar ice that's what it's called and then this one is spearmint so got those um, some other things I got, I just got some new tampons, and then I got some gold jewelry from one of my favorite stores on Etsy. It's just called Dainty and Gold, and this one just says Maggie, this one says Maggie, this one has the year I was born, so does that one, and then that one says my name. And then I also got this ring right here. It's like a chain. I'll show you this way. It's like a chain. So that's really cute. I have that on this hand now and then this is the jewelry I have on the other hand. I didn't know what to do with this little dainty chain ring so I just put it on my ring finger. I don't know. So I did that. It's kind of cute. And then I also got this big chain right here. This is what they sent me as well and you guys should check them out. I have been shopping there for I don't know when was the first time I ever ordered something I think it was like 2017 I remember like I worked all summer and I saved up like a ton of money and I bought myself um, my gold necklace that I still wear to this day and it says Scorpio and I remember you can like buy it them in like whatever material you want like if you don't want to spend a lot of money you can get it in like gold plated or whatever and I know that I wanted to like invest in a good gold necklace that I could wear every single day so I remember I bought one that said Scorpio and it was like $150 and I still have it and I love it and I um, would talk about it all the time so they reached out to me and they were like wait are you Maggie McDonald from YouTube because we keep getting orders for these necklaces and we looked back and like you had ordered one and people were saying your name and I don't know so they found my email from the order when I ordered a necklace like so so long ago and they reached out and they've just been so sweet to Emma and I they sent us so many necklaces and stuff and just adds to my collection yeah and if you get if you decide to get the um, 14 karat gold you can wear it daily I don't take any of these necklaces off as you guys know I wear them every single day so they're just really good quality and I really love them. But I also got another exciting package that I've been waiting to open and I'm actually gonna put it on right now because I'm wearing just like a little bra. But this is the first time I've ever ordered something on Poshmark where it's had to get authenticated. So as you can see, it got authenticated. And this is what I got. <laughs> Oh my god, so they even sent me like the original pack that it came in where it has like the um, warehouse and stuff love You love it? It's really like good quality inside. This sweatshirt is such good quality It like feel it Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like it. And some of you guys might not even know what company this is. It's Justin Bieber's. 
like clothing company and I really wanted a sweatshirt from here for a long time and they were always sold out so I got one on Poshmark and I love it. <laughs> deodorant you guys hands down Emma and I have to run right now we actually have a nail appointment that is very soon so we need to get out of here but I'm gonna talk to you guys I also need chapstick um, I need to talk to you guys about that my deodorant once I get home you guys have heard me talk about it so much, um, but I'm gonna have something like really exciting to tell you. So, we'll talk about that after. Ooh, I miss this stuff. Wow. When she steals your look. <laughs> I got these shoes first. We're literally Actually. wearing the same type of outfit. I wear this thing every day. No, I know, but I just think it's funny that we both put on the same shoes and we're both wearing a sweatshirt. We're both wearing... <laughs> Like, I don't know. Well, we do this a lot, like, unintentionally, and it's not a bad thing. And but we're on Newberry, and it is, the weather is so perfect out today. It's like, no humidity, crisp air, crisp and it's still morning, so it's, like, not hot, nice and shaded. Ew, I'm uh, <laughs> running to go get our nails done. Right now, I just have this blue color on which I've had for a few weeks now, so I'm gonna change this. I never know what to get before I go, so we'll see. What? Hi guys, it's been a little while since I last vlogged. I just got out of the shower, as you can see. Ooh, my hair is a little bit wet. We went to Core Power after we got our nails done and got matcha and stuff. And we just went to a yoga sculpt class. It was so good. I hadn't worked out in like two weeks, so it felt really nice to sweat. Um, since I was traveling, I like didn't work out and didn't really stress about it. I just wanted to like enjoy myself and take a break since I'm constantly like working out and doing stuff like that. So it feels good to finally like get back at it. And that was a really good class. And I'm so glad that we went. And these are my nails, by the way. I got like this nude color. I don't really know what the name is. I think it's, I want to say Chisel 74 at Boston Nails and Spa, but I don't know what it is. But I, I know that the number is 74, but I think the word's Chisel, but I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, but remember earlier when I told you guys that I wanted to talk to you about something exciting, which reminded me because I was just getting ready right now. I'm going to Tyler's house actually because... I just wanted to spend the night with him. I didn't get to see him since my mom's wedding because um, I was in California traveling and he was gonna come to Laguna and then he ended up not being able to just because he had like some job interviews and stuff and he was super busy, but I really miss him. So I'm gonna go to his house this afternoon and him and I are gonna like make dinner and hang out tonight and all that because I'm going to New York tomorrow. So I wanna be able to like see him um, before I leave. So I'm just getting ready right now, packing up all my stuff. I'm kind of, 
like my bed just has a bunch of things on it. Um, I'm gonna be like organizing, packing, doing all that. And I got really excited and I just wanna share with you something about my native deodorant. So you guys know, I talked about them in my favorites video for June or July. Whatever my last favorite video was, I talked about this deodorant right here, which is the native mandarin and white peach. And I was so, so, well, I still am. I still use it every single day, but I am so obsessed with this deodorant. And they actually reached out and I'm so honored and thankful and grateful. And I just can't even believe that they reached out to work with me on a video. So I'm so excited. I just want to be able to tell you guys more about it. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. They actually sent me two new scents. This one is the Pink Grapefruit and Elderflower. I used this one already. It smells so good. This is probably my second favorite right now. And then this one right here is just Water Lily and Orchid. So this one probably, wait, I need to smell it because I forget what it smells like. This one smells good too. It smells like my mom. It smells like, I don't know. I like it. It smells very fresh. But I have been using the native deodorant recently and I've tried out so many of the aluminum free deodorants like the natural ones and stuff and I just feel like for me I work out a lot you guys know I'm always like sweating and well that sounds kind of gross but I'm always working out and I really need a deodorant that's gonna like hold up through like a soul cycle class or core power or a workout with my trainer and I haven't been able to find one out of all them that I've tried and I found that some of them would make my armpits like it would get almost like foamy and bubbly and then it would sting and burn and hurt really, really bad. But I can honestly say that this one is the first that I found that actually works for me and I've heard so many people talk about it. It's amazing and they come in so many different scents. One of the most popular ones is actually the coconut and vanilla one and I haven't been able to try it yet, but my next one, obviously because I have so many right here, my next one is gonna be the coconut and vanilla. I just love these deodorants and I can't say enough about them. Um, I just love that they're aluminum free. Aluminum is really bad for your body, so I want to be able to limit and decrease my risk for that. Um, and I just wanna share this information with all of you because I feel like nowadays there's so much stuff put into the products that we use every single day that we may not know. And I've just been really making a change and being very cautious of what I put on my body, what I put in my body, because I feel like I'm so, Worried, not worried, but I just am very cautious about what I'm eating all the time, like healthy foods, making sure that they're whole foods um, that don't have any preservatives or anything like that. So I just am starting to like be more conscious about what I'm putting on my body because I obviously am already conscious about what I put in my body. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I just really love them. I honestly can say that this is the only a natural deodorant that has ever worked for me and I just think that you guys would love it too. A lot of you guys have actually messaged me after I've mentioned it a bunch of times that you love this one as well. So you guys should totally check it out. You can check it out. I will have a link in the description and you can use the promo code Maggie to get 20% off of your order. I think that it's an amazing deals making little changes like this can be super beneficial so like I was saying it's paraben free aluminum free it just has clean natural ingredients I know that two of the main ingredients are coconut oil and shea butter so that itself it's just super like soft soothing and just a deodorant that actually works that is natural which I stand by completely so I just wanted to quickly say that um, to you guys and also thank you Native for sponsoring this video I just can't even believe it this is a brand that I've loved and talked about so many times on my channel so the fact that I get to work with them and pr promote their product even more than I already have is um, just amazing and I'm so happy and grateful so you guys should check it out again again I will have a link at the top of the description there's a promo code Maggie for 20% off so you can get some deodorant and they also have men's products women's products Products, whatever you prefer um, but also if you guys use it comment down below which scent you use because although I do have a lot of them I want to try out new scents I'm definitely gonna be checking out the coconut and vanilla one I know that that one smells so good so I'm gonna be doing that and I feel like I should start packing for New York right now but I don't I don't know I just don't know if I should start packing now or wait till tomorrow i know that i have a workout in the morning with mike um i need to stop touching my face i feel like i always do this type of thing and i need to stop i'm breaking out i've been getting really bad hormonal breakouts recently so like when i get my period it's like 
breakouts all over it and plus like I I'm constantly like touching my face, which is a big no. Don't touch your face. It's so bad But anyway, I feel like I should start packing and just at least like lay some stuff out On my bed. I got this really cute new dress that I'm so excited to wear in New York I'll lay it out and show it to you. This is what it looks like you guys will see me wearing it on Instagram because <laughs> I'm obviously going to take a photo while I'm there um, but it's just this really nice like terracotta burnt orange color and I am going to be wearing it with sneakers you guys already know so I'm not sure if I should wear these or if I should wear these I feel like these are like the most comfortable pair of sneakers that I own so maybe yeah I'll pair it with that and then I'm going to be using this new bag over here. I'm only going to be gone for Wednesday night, Thursday, and coming home Friday morning. So, I mean, I don't really need that much stuff. So, I can just pack, like, lightly and probably just wear, like, biker shorts and a sweatshirt um, on the way there. And then also on the way home. So, I'll probably actually bring this sweatshirt. And then just gonna grab a pair of biker shorts as well. These black ones. Um, and I'll bring the gray ones too. I feel like I never checked the weather. I haven't checked it recently just because since it's summer, I assume it's gonna be nice out. But I guess that's, oh yeah, it's gonna be nice out every day. Well, in Boston at least. New York gonna be super nice out this week and I also just like realized that you can take the train from Boston to New York I always knew that there was a train but I thought that it cost like $400 because I looked it up one time and it literally for the ticket it was like $450 and I was like whoa that's so expensive why would I spend $450 to take the train when it would be cheaper to fly but then I was talking to somebody the other day. I was talking to Kenzie um, Meads, and she was like, no, I took the train with my boyfriend, and it literally was like $50 or something. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? I was looking online, and it said that it was like $450. And I must have been looking at, like, I don't know what website it must have been, um, but it probably was showing me, like, a first-class train ticket with, like, dinner and, like, all this crazy stuff because I, like, New, I don't know. I don't know why I even thought that it was $400. So last time we went to, the, well, last year when Emma and I went to New York, we took the train home and then we were like, oh, that was kind of quick. It just went right into Boston and all that. So I looked it up for when we went a couple weeks ago and that's when I saw like the $450 ticket and I was like, no way. Like I'm not paying that to sit on the train for four hours when I could just take an hour flight. So yeah. That just like really confused me and I was like, I couldn't believe that it was so, the difference in price of like how much a ticket costs versus like what I saw online. I just thought that was crazy. So yeah, that was a little bit weird. So I just thought that I would share my experience. If you're, if you live in Boston and you didn't know that the train um, was affordable to get there, then now you know you can plan a little trip for the fall which i know that i'm probably going to be doing now like taking the train in just because i feel like living in boston and like being so familiar with boston growing up i am very good at like public transportation getting myself around like going on different trains getting off getting on the subway like going i don't know i just am like really good at that and i really like that for some reason um, I just like being able to like navigate and bring myself around like different cities and like know where I'm going That's like something about me that um, I just feel like I have always been Like really good at I don't know like direction and stuff. So yeah, that's that but I'm also gonna be packing some workout clothes Because there's a core power near where we're staying so I'm gonna be bringing some Align shorts and then a little tank top and we have an airport outfit and then I just need another sweatshirt for these shorts and that's pretty much it. I don't think that I need any other clothes. I'm going for one day. I just have like meetings and stuff. So obviously I'm wearing this dress with some sneakers and then a workout outfit for the morning. But... I just need an outfit to go there and then an outfit to leave the next day. I always pack like way, way, way too much when I travel, um, which I'm really getting, I'm trying to get better at now. So 
something that we're working on. My suitcase is under Emma's bed, so I have to get it. <laughs> so I have my little suitcase and then my sneakers that I'm bringing, my dress, and just some sweatshirts and biker shorts, and then my workout outfit. I have my hoops, and I'm also gonna be bringing a little bag of makeup just because I have like some meetings and stuff that I'm going to in New York and I'm meeting with, it's just like for work and stuff. So I want to be able to, I mean, at least look a little bit put together. So I just have a bunch of like natural makeup in here and just like little things where I can just put like a little bit of blush on, um, fix my eyebrows, stuff like that. Just nothing too crazy. So I'm going to be bringing this and I probably need a pair of sunglasses i'm so sad because i actually just realized that i must have misplaced my sunglasses from crew and i opened up the case and they were gone so i have no idea where they are i need to find them i'm so sad because i feel like they're like the perfect pair of glasses to wear especially i don't know like when you are wanting to look like more dressed up because they have some gold on them and then i'm just going to be bringing some of my staples and i also just got a few new things over here from sephora and i got another lip mask because you guys know this one's my favorite and then i got this mask that i'm gonna try out and i'm gonna bring it to tyler's tonight so i can do a face mask but it's just a turmeric brightening mask i'm really really excited about this i've been really into masks recently so i'm gonna bring that to his house and i also got some new scrunchies and this lip balm right here, which I've never tried before, but it is the Junk Elephant Lip Nut Oil. No, what is it called? Lippy Balm Soothe and Rescue Mongo Ongo Nut Oil Peptide. Okay, well, that name is really crazy, um, but we're gonna check it out. It doesn't smell like anything. Moisturizing and Volumizing Balm. So far, so good. I'll keep you guys updated. That is what is going on in my life right now. All the updates of today, I feel like it's just, I haven't had a second to sit down since I got back from California last night. So it's just been really crazy and busy and I'm probably just gonna get bag ready for Tyler's and get going um, and start my night or like my afternoon. I have to go to the bank and I also have to go to Home Goods because I need to return um, some, what are those things called that hang? Curtains. I bought a curtain rod and curtains to hang in my window, like up here that was gonna go like from this side to that side, just so I could have like a little bit something extra. And, Cause I feel like my room is super plain and I picked up curtains and my mom and I tried to hang them and you literally couldn't even hang it because I think that there's like a steel going in my, that's like in my wall. My walls are probably steel, I don't know. So anyway, we weren't able to hang it, so I need to go return that and I can't forget because I need to be better about doing that. I'm usually good about doing that with my clothes. Like if I don't, um, if something doesn't fit or if I just, whatever, I always return stuff. But with this case, like I feel like it's been a few weeks and I really need to bring it back, but there's just like no home goods near me. So I'm probably gonna go and stop like once I'm in Tyler's town. But those are things where I feel like I just wanna, you know, update you, let you know, because I probably wouldn't vlog that kind of stuff, but that's actually what I have to do this afternoon. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack a little bag now just with my skincare and my new mask and probably like a pair of sweatpants for the morning so I can drive home and then start heading out and go to Tyler's because I don't want to hit traffic, which probably already started. It's 3 o'clock right now and he gets out of work at 5.30, so I want to be able to like be to him by the time he gets out of work. And he only lives a half hour away from me, but with traffic, like leaving Boston and driving north, it takes like an hour. It's super annoying. So I'm going to get all my stuff together, um, get started. I just kind of wanted to update you like on what was going on in my afternoon, how I'm prepping for New York and stuff, and do all that. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit, like once I'm done with all of my errands. Hi guys, 
so I am just quickly editing this video. I realized I didn't end it off yesterday, um, but we're leaving for the airport really soon, and our flight got delayed, and I'm not sure if it is on the regular schedule or if it's on the delay because we brought in two different emails, so I really need to text Gretchen and, okay, cool. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed, see you, see the vlogs coming for New York. Like I said, we're leaving right now. Um, Gretchen is gonna come pick us up. We have like a girl's trip, little few days in New York City. I'm so excited. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can catch up, keep up with all the photos. I can't even speak right now. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.